Welcome to Keep the Faith Ministry News. Hundreds of homes have been inundated in and around Australia's largest city in a flood emergency that was causing trouble for 50,000 people, officials said Tuesday. Emergency response teams made 100 rescues overnight of people trapped in cars on flooded roads or in inundated homes in the Sydney area, State Emergency Service Manager Ashley Sullivan said. Days of torrential rain have caused dams to overflow and waterways to break their banks, bringing a fourth flood emergency in 16 months to parts of the city of 5 million people. Evacuation orders and warnings to prepare to abandon homes were given to 50,000 people, up from 32,000 on Monday, New South Wales Premier Dominic Perrottet said. Quote, This event is far from over. Please don't be complacent wherever you are. Please be careful when you are driving on our roads. There is still substantial risk for flash flooding across our state, Perrottet said. The New South Wales state government declared a disaster across 23 local government areas overnight, activating federal government financial assistance for flood victims. The Emergency Services Minister, Steph Cook, credited the skill and commitment of rescue crews for preventing any death or serious injury by the fourth day of the flooding emergency. Parts of southern Sydney had been lashed by more than 20 centimeters, nearly 8 inches of rain in 24 hours, more than 17% of the city's annual average. Bureau of Meteorology meteorologist Jonathan Howell said, Severe weather warnings of heavy rain remained in place across Sydney's eastern suburbs on Tuesday. The warnings also extended north of Sydney, along the coast, and into the Hunter Valley. The worst flooding was along the Hawkesbury-Napian River system, along Sydney's northern and western fringes. Quote, The good news is that by tomorrow afternoon, it is looking to be mostly dry. But of course, we are reminding people that these floodwaters will remain very high well after the rain has stopped, Howe said. There was plenty of rainfall overnight, and that is actually seeing some rivers peak for a second time. So you've got to take many days, if not a week, to start to see these floodwaters start to recede, Howe added. Residents of Lanesville in southwest Sydney were surprised by the speed at which their area became inundated and the growing frequency of such flooding. Quote, Well, it happened in 1986 and 88. Then it didn't happen for 28 years. And so, 2016 and 2020, and now it's happened four times this year. A Lansvale local identified only as Terry told Australian Broadcasting Corp. television of his home being flooded. Quote, We are standing on the threshold of the crisis of the ages. In quick succession, the judgments of God will follow one another. Fire and flood and earthquake with war and bloodshed. We are not to be surprised at this time by events both great and decisive, for the angel of mercy cannot remain much longer to shelter the impenitent. Prophets and Kings, page 278. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching.